Hey everybody, thanks for watching my video. My name is Victoria. Um, today I'm gonna be talking about my experience at Nevada Career Institute. I'm studying to become a medical assistant. Um, I just wanna go over some of the pros and the cons, uh, my personal experience, um, just my opinion on some things, and just basically to prepare anybody who's considering going to Nevada Career Institute um, they also offer several other programs, um, and me today, I'm just going to be talking about medical assisting, but yeah, if you want to know more information, you can go to nevadacareerinstitute.com, or you can look it up on Google. Um, there's a lot of information. I think I can link it in the description below. Um, but yeah, overall, the program's extremely fast. Um, you only have to do seven mods, like book work, all that stuff, and then you get to do a lab you know labs of course obviously and then after you complete those mods you're able to move on to extern and they'll find you a site um the career service people are in charge of that and they are awesome they literally try their best to get you into the specialty you want um and if not that something similar or just something that they know is going to be a really good fit um so me personally, I started my extern on October 25th, Monday, so, and so far so good. I'm really loving it. I hope I can be hired on at this site. Um, I'll do, probably do a follow-up video, basically going over my extern and you know more stuff into medical assisting, just for anybody who's um, thinking about becoming a medical assistant or maybe not sure if they should go. Um, I would say also another pro was, I would say it's honestly pretty easy. I mean, the stuff that you're learning is extremely easy to me personally. And also there's so many resources, like you're set, you're set up for success. And basically it's going to be on how determined you are, you know, to get it done fast and get out. You know, if you don't take any breaks, you'll be done in at least 10 months, 11 months at the latest. And um, yeah, the book work was really easy. You can do open book tests. Well, as far as I know, it was always like that because obviously we had to do some tests online because it was virtual due to the COVID. Um, but I'll get into that a little bit on in the video. And um, but yeah, the book work is really doable, achievable. Um, and you go over like pharmacology, medical terminology, and also the study guide and procedure checklist manual. Um, it's the medical assistant and applied learning approach. Uh, the Kins medical assistant, 14th edition. It's this one right here. <clears throat> but yeah, you have a workbook and you have your textbook and you can just go over it. And I think it's a really good textbook. It's There's information in there set up to where you can really retain information as long as you study. Um, and I think it goes over a lot of the stuff that I'm actually seeing in extern, which is awesome because I feel prepared, you know. It's very scary becoming a medical assistant um, because, you know, you could be nervous, all that stuff. That's how I feel, you know. Um, me personally, I would say that the tests are also pretty easy. And um, all the instructors try really hard to teach you the information and give you time to ask questions if need be. Um, so that was really good as well. Another pro would be, I would say that how you only have to do a lab once a week because some people may work or have children or, you know, just anything in general. And um, yeah, at Nevada Career Institute, you can go, you can take some night classes, you can do six to 10, or you can do 8.30 to 12.30. Um, and of course you get breaks just like on zoom as well because you'll do school on zoom monday wednesday and thursday from 8 30 to 12 30 and then on the tuesdays you would if well tuesday was your lab day you would attend lab from 8 30 to 12 30. and there's other labs available like wednesday nights i believe friday nights as well um so that was awesome. I'd say, you know, if your schedule is kind of hard, they can definitely try to work around your schedule. Um, so that's what I really liked about it as well. Um, another thing was just how fast the program was, honestly. Like, it's just awesome. 
I just think that if you don't want to do a lot of school, if you don't want to, you know, further your education or do anything like that, medical assisting is very fast, you know, and also if you do want to further your education, you can even go back, you know, like for several other programs. Um, at Nevada Career Institute, and it's really awesome, honestly. I don't think that anybody would regret going. Um, so now I'll get into the cons about it. One of the cons was we had a um, wonderful teacher, wonderful teacher. She ended up having to switch into career services because of whatever reason, um, which was understandable. She's still there to help, you know, still around. Um, but then we started to have several different subs because it was hard for them to find um, a replacement. But honestly, I can understand as well because, you know, it's unexpected. Um, no one really knew. Well, at least I don't think the students did. Um, just Well, I didn't know at least. But um, yeah, I just, it was kind of suckish at the end having several different teachers like all the time because, you know, if you need to reach out or anything like that, but um, overall, the substitutes tried to give you methods of reaching out if you needed help, you know, seeing because everything's kind of virtual right now. You're only on campus, you know, one day a week. So, yeah. But um, I really would have loved if I could have had the same teacher for the entire program. I just felt like it would have been better for me, like in my clinical training, such as venipunctures and everything like that. But honestly, all of the instructors that do work there are extremely helpful and like I said you can go to several different labs as far as I know I was able to um, because I had to make some stuff up towards the end but yeah all the teachers were really awesome they helped you you know they'll try to teach you the best way and I think it's awesome actually trying to learn from uh, several other people because you can find which method works for you um, because some people have different ways of doing things, but it's still the right way to do it. So I thought that was cool and you know, it's okay. It wasn't really anybody's fault directly. So it is what it is. I just hope for the other students that they can um, find a real good teacher and keep them on for good, you know, for the long haul. But um, another con I would say was they don't have anything on the weekends. As far as I know, they don't. And I just kind of wish they would have, you know, so I could have worked more on the weekdays. Um, but honestly, other than that, I don't really have any cons. Um, I guess besides the fact that they don't really pay for you to become certified. Um, I'm not sure what the reason was behind that, but as far as I know, you need to pay that on your own. Um, I just thought it would have been awesome if the school could have done that. But, you know, it is what it is. I guess it falls back on your responsibility depending if you want to be certified or not some employers require it some don't um, but other than that I had a really good experience with the Nevada Career Institute I would definitely recommend it to anybody who's interested in becoming a medical assistant um, and like I said if you if you want to keep furthering your education you always can you know you can go to Nevada Career Institute for several different things so yeah that's pretty much it um i'm just going to be vlogging my experiences throughout my school i'm hoping to return to school in the spring i'm not sure what my major is going to be but i know it's, i definitely want to go towards pre-med so if you're interested in my videos you can like and subscribe and also hit the notification button so when i do make a new video you can be notified um i'm going to be hoping hoping to go to UNLV but we'll see what goes on with that if not I'll be possibly going to a different school and I'll vlog my experience with that all right you guys thanks for watching have a good one